Hi everyone, I'm recording this video to show you an example of how to calculate price elasticity of demand. I'm going to use the example we covered in lecture 3. So in our example, we had the uh, demand curve for pizza and what happened is that the initial price so was 20.5 and at that price the quantity demanded was uh, 9 pizzas then the let's call this point a so this is our initial point and then when the price dropped to 19.5 the quantity became the quantity demanded became um, 11 pizzas so let's say this is point b so what we wanted to do here is to calculate the price elasticity of demand so the price elasticity of demand is the percent change in quantity demanded divided by the percent change in price and to calculate the percent change in quantity demanded is you need to find the change in quantity and divide this by the average quantity and the same thing here for the person change in price so this is the change in price divided by the average price so let's see the change in quantity so the quantity changed from 9 to 11 so it's equal to units it's 2 and the change in price from 20.5 to 19.5 so that's 1 so that's the difference so what we need to do now is to calculate the average quantities so Q average this is going to be 9 plus 11 divided by 2 to find the average and this give us 10 so the average quantity is 10 the same thing here with the price so we want to find the average price and this is 20.5 plus 19.5 divided by 2 this will give us 20 so now we have everything we need to calculate the uh, price elasticity of demand uh, so the price elasticity of demand in this case so it would be the change in quantity so let's fall from here so it's the change in quantity which is 2 divided by the average quantity which is 10 and this divided by the person change in price which is the change in price 1 over the average price 20 and this would give us 4 so the price elasticity uh, of demand in this case is 4 so I've received some questions why we don't use we, why don't we just use the uh, original price so let me show you um, the difference what would happen if we rather rather than using the average quantity and the average price we use the original quantity and the original price so let's say what happened here is the change or we moved on the demand curve from say xq a so this is the demand for pizza and these are the two points we're looking at here so this is 20.5 and here's uh, the quantity demand was 9 and when the price dropped to 19 point 5 the quantity demand became 11 pizzas so we move from point a this point on the demand curve to this point on the same demand curve because of the price change so we move to this direction so that makes a is our original price and original quantity so let's calculate 
the um, elasticity if we move the price elasticity of demand if we move from A to B. So that makes, as I said, so that makes A is the original point, which means the original price would be 20.5 and the original quantity will be 9. So when we calculate the elasticity, we'll follow the same formula uh, here, but rather than dividing by the, quanti the average quantity and the average price, we could divide by the original price. So let's see what's happened here if we divide by the original price if we move from a to b so sorry okay so if you move from a to b so that means we need to we will divide the change in quantity so the change in quantity is still the same so it's two divided by the original price in this original quantity in this case will be 9 and the change in the price will be 1 still the same as 1 but we'll divide rather than dividing by the average price we could divide by the um, uh, uh, the, the original price which is 20.5 uh, here so let's see how much this will give us. So in this case, elasticity will be 4.5. So the question here, what if we move from B to A? So what if the price was 19.5 and then increased to 20.5? So that means we're moving from B to A. So let's calculate the elasticity in this case. So the elasticity in this case will be uh, the change in quantity will be the same, so it's, it's the same thing, so it's, it's 2. But rather than dividing by the average quantity, we'll divide by the original price, which in our case here, if we move from B to A, will be uh, uh, B, so B is the original point. So at this case, so the quantity, the original quantity here will be 11, so we divide by 11. And... The change in price, which is 1 divided by the original price, in this case, if B is our original uh, point, so that means divided, this 1 will be divided by 19.5, and this will give us the elasticity of 3.6. So you see here the main issue here, or the main, the main point here is that when, when you calculate the elasticity, using the original price and the original quantity the the value of the elasticity or what you would be of course we, we we look at the magnitude so we don't we're not looking at the sign we actually ignore the sign at all because we we, we all as we explained in the lecture in all cases we know that it's going to be negative and that's why we we just ignore it but let's just look at the magnitude here or the absolute of the absolute value so without without the um, uh, without the, 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 the sign, considering the sign. So when we move from A to B, elasticity was, the price elasticity of demand was 4.5. When you move from B to A, the price elasticity of demand uh, is 3.6. Okay, so the main idea here, if if you calculate the price elasticity using the, um, the average quantity and average price, it would give you the same value, the same absolute value um, uh, of elasticity it uh, doesn't matter you move from a to b or b to a so that's that's the only the only difference in this case we're looking at a midpoint here so we're looking at a point between these two prices which is the average price and between these two quantities which is the average uh, quantity so that's the only difference because I understand that some of you already asking me why don't we just use the original price and the original quantity for the assignment it's, it's totally up to you as long as you explain the difference as long as you show that you understand that rather than looking at the average I mean I would expect all students to calculate the price elasticity of demand using the average quantity and the average price but I, w I wouldn't penalize those who will use the original price and the original quantity as long as they explain that, that this is what they did and they show what, 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 what happened and they show that if they 
calculated the price elasticity demand moving the other way around from B to A, this will would result in different value for the elasticity. But in all cases, as I explained here, so the main idea here why we look at the why we consider or we divide by the average quantity and the average price is just it is not going to change the value for the uh, price elasticity uh, regardless of whether, whether we moving from b to a or a to b um that's 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 it so that was a very quick example on how to calculate uh, elasticity or price elasticity of demand and as i explained this is uh, something you will need for question two in the in the assignment if you want to follow this example this is the example we cover in lecture uh, three thank you